Erica, welcome to the River Vixens. Betty, better luck next time. Wait, what? Why? Because you couldn't bully Betty into being a bitch? I need girls with fire on my squad. I know what you need, Cheryl, because I know who you are. You would rather people fear than like you. So you traffic in terror and intimidation. You're rich, so you've never been held accountable. But I'm living proof. That certainty, that entitlement you wear on your head like a crown, it won't last. Eventually, there will be a reckoning. Or maybe that reckoning is now. And maybe that reckoning is me. Betty and I come as a matching set. You want one, you take us both. You wanted fire? Sorry, Cheryl, bombshell. My specialty's ice. Well, it's not the Met Ball. Hey, when do you have to let Coach Clayton know about football? This weekend. Guys, can't we just liberate ourselves from the tired dichotomy of jock artist? Can't we, in this post-James Franco world, be all things at once? I'm working on it, Ronnie. Work faster. I'm getting punched. You got this. That hair. That jacket. Jason always adored the drive-in. <laughs> Southside trash. They've been doing that since the opening credits. <sighs> hey, you know what happens to a snake when a Louboutin heel steps on it? Shut the hell up or you'll find out. I cannot believe you just threatened a gangbanger. I've dealt with worse in the East Village. I just hate when people disrespect my cinematic experience. Please, what decade is this? Well, also since she knew where Jason's getaway car was, they're afraid people might think that she burned it. And that if she did... She could be the murderer, trying to cover her tracks. Well, who did burn the car then? Sheriff Keller says it's possible someone was following us. Oh my god. Honestly, guys, we should, we should just move. Stop. You're late. Veronica, we've already reviewed the new choreography for Homecoming. That means we'll be in the back where your presence will do the least amount of damage. With you front and center, no doubt. But of course, I do have the maddest skills on the squad. And because you're a blossom, we just have to accept whatever you say as gospel truth. You're welcome to challenge me, Veronica, but you'll lose. We live in a democratic society, Cheryl. So let's let the vixens decide who's cherry on top. Challenge accepted. Did you turn it up? Better did you bring it back? Dollar did you turn it up? Better did you bring it back? Dollar did you turn it up? Better did you bring it back? Dollar did you turn it up? Better did you bring it back? Dollar did you turn it up? Better did you bring it back? Dollar did you turn it up? Better did you bring it back? Dollar did you turn it? 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 for Cheryl? All those for Veronica? Never cross a lodge. Come on, girls. I'm sorry, no. What? I'm sorry, but I'm not going. Archie, you shouldn't be alone right now. You're angry and, and hurting and probably terrified. I know I am. So go ahead. 
yell at me and, and try to push me away, but I'm not going anywhere. surprise for you. It meant burning the midnight oil and calling in a few favors, but ta-da! Rocket, you can't wear that. Are you saying I'm not rocking the scoop knuckle? No, no, I'm saying you can't walk around with a freaking target on your chest. You'll stick out like a sore thumb. No, Archie. It's adorable when you underestimate me. Come, come. Oh, my God. Let Weatherby do his worst. The Red Circle is no longer a fringe band of radicals. It's a movement with style and panache. Greaser snake showed up at your place trying to kick your ass. Have to finish what was started. Oh I'm so over the toxic masculinity in this hallway right now. All right. Veronica, I don't think it's such a good idea to just send Andre away. No, Archie. You need to give me some space, OK? I'm getting Betty, and we're going into town alone, just us girls, and you can stay here and entertain Jughead. Oh, and try not to choke on your own testosterone while you're at it. Impeccable taste and a little elbow grease go a long way, Elio. But from what I hear, your Sweetwater Casino will soon be giving the Miraggio a run for its money. You know, if you added a couple of slots, table games, maybe some cocktails with actual liquor, you have Quite the little gold mine on your manicured hands. Thank you for mansplaining my business to me. Monica! Oh, that's right, you work here now. I'll have a cherry phosphate and curly fries. Girls? I don't work at Pops, Cheryl. I own it. And as of this moment, you're no longer welcome here. You can't discriminate against someone because they're better looking than you. Cheryl, you're acting like trash, and I don't want to get a citation. <sighs> With my father breathing down our necks, I suppose it was only a matter of time. Mm. Sorry. Thanks. Every time I make a beer run across the border, I've been changing it up, never taking the same road twice. He got lucky. Daddy made it very clear that if Labanoui was to continue operating in a post-quarantine Riverdale, I'd have to give him 10% of my earnings for the privilege. If you start paying him for protection now, you'll never stop. But there are ways to minimize that price. Five percent feels fair. And once Daddy reviews these well-cooked books, he'll be none the wiser. Has anyone ever told you you're a badass? Please, join us. Never. Only your blackened heart would take away Thanksgiving from a bunch of underprivileged kids just to get what you want. Are you referring to my decision to close Archie's shelter? It was a matter of public safety, Mia. It's nothing personal. <laughs> Neither was that. Papi. Congratulations on your acceptance to Harvard's class of 2024. <sighs> Thank you so much, Dean Kingsley. August can't come soon enough. Indeed. Now, will you give my regards to your father and, and please thank him for the rum he sent. Veritas. I'm sensing animosity. Sensing? I despise that man. I want nothing to do with him. But you willingly live at home. Well, yes, but... You obediently come when he calls you. Veronica, I don't think this is hate. It's obsession. You and your father are obsessed with each other. You're diagnosing me with daddy issues? How very intro to psych. Veronica, you literally... I'm gonna stop you right there, Chad. Because whatever you think I am doesn't come close to what you are which is scum, a worthless, pathetic little worm. You stole money from your investors to what? 
finance copter cab. But what a surprise. In the end, you couldn't pull it off. <laughs> That's your problem in a nutshell. You can't land anything. You'll never be an alpha, Chad. You're a born beta. And now here we are, headed straight for an edible tragedy, set in motion when I was a 14-year-old girl. Oh, Veronica, stop being so dramatic. Oh, but this story is dramatic, Daddy. The day of my quinceanera. <laughs> it was supposed to be the most important celebratory day of my young life. When I overheard you in your study, talking with some of your friends, telling them I was a disappointment. That you wished mom had given you a son to follow in your footsteps. Oh, how nice. You remember. Do you know what it does to a 14-year-old girl to hear that kind of dismissal from her own father? I have spent an entire lifetime chasing your approval and love, and for what? Sociopaths are incapable of love. <sighs> Which is why I want to be very clear with you right now. If Archie dies, you die. Can you feel it, Daddy? Our dance of death is finally coming to an end. Excuse me, are you kidding? Why aren't you dressed for the rehearsal dinner, either of you? He started it. I don't care who started it. I am so done with this macho, toxic, competitive bullcrap. We are all adults here, so we should be able to act like we're adults. But until that happens, you're both grounded. What? No fair! You two need to work out whatever it is you need to work out in order to coexist. Or you're out of the Pembroke and out of my life. It's a world where billions of people will die if we don't split the universes. All right. Let's do it. Let's make out to save the universe. One thing, can we do it during the wedding? Because I'm not really in the mood. Yeah, I hear that, same. Here's to Vughead becoming canon.